Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, everybody. The scripture says, and are you there? Are you there? Yes, Glory to God. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. And the Bible says, and since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, and therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore speak. Can we take that verse, everybody? One, two, three, go. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe, and therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore we speak. For a few minutes this morning, I want to begin a journey uh, into faith. Every year, the Lord had mandated that we, we speak on faith, and we teach on faith. I want to begin this year's series on faith by sharing with you, it's not going to be long. The days of seven weeks long. Now, I want to say a lot of things. But so you have to get it. Tell your neighbor you have to get it. Um, I want to begin by sharing what I titled the spirit of faith. Look at him and say the spirit, the spirit. Of, faith. of faith. Look at your next favorite neighbor, the one you didn't turn to before. And say the spirit, the spirit. Of, faith. of faith. Father, thank you. Because the entrance of the world will give light. Give understanding to all simple folks. Father, we've come to learn at your feet. I make my tongue the pen of every writer. And I write the word of life upon the spirit of people. After now, make us better people. Let us walk according to your counsel. In Jesus' name, and amen. Please, as royalties, be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you've got to listen. You've got to listen to what he's about to share with us. Some people's mouths are not moving. Say it again. You've got to listen to what he's about to share with us. Don't worry. Temperature will come down as we listen. If we don't listen, it will be hotter. So the testament that we are listening is that temperature will go, go down. Amen. Faith is a spiritual force. Faith is a spiritual issue. Not a natural issue. Faith is of man's spirit, not of his body, and not of his soul. By now, you must know that 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, Bible says to us uh, that let your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless. So that tells us that man is triune in nature. Can I tell you what that means? You are triune in nature. It means that you are spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. So when you hug somebody, it is your body you used to hug somebody. You are listening now, that is a conversation that's going on with your soul. Are you following what I'm saying? But when God speaks to you, God does not speak to you through your feelings. So when believers say, God is here because I feel goosebumps. Glory to God. Sometimes I say they should check around, maybe there's an AC close to them. Why? Because God is here is not a function of how cold you get. Is a function of him speaking to your spirit man. Is somebody listening to me? Why is that so? Because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 and then verse 24. Uh, no, sorry, John 4, 24. Jesus was speaking. He said, um, They that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. He said God is a spirit and they that worship him. So what did he say? He said God is what? He didn't say God is like spirit. He didn't say God can be compared to spirit. He said God is spirit. You see, in your Christian journey, the first thing you must understand is that God is spirit. And because God is spirit, it will communicate with you via your spirit. Somebody understand that? Therefore, when we read, the Bible says, faith is of God. If faith is of God, it therefore means faith is spiritual. Spiritual. Meaning it is from your spirit. You do not believe God because you had pastor preaching. And he's not saying, I will also believe God for car now. I believe God for car now. Now, that does not stand on anything. It stands on the conviction of being in an environment. But true faith must be recognized as a spiritual force. Therefore, it is not what you confess or say, it is what you believe. Somebody say, I will be rich. I will be great. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you are still believing that it will be difficult and you will be poor. 
you ain't going to do anything. Nothing's going to change in your life. You know why? Because we become our belief. Therefore, somebody said, I say it, it does not happen. It is not the same. It is a saying that comes from the place of believing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Therefore, let me explain to you what is the spirit of faith. It is believing with the heart and speaking with the mouth. The spirit of faith is what? Tell your neighbor that. Believing with the heart and then speaking with the mouth. I do I still have a teaching church. All right, so you teach your neighbor. <laughs> Because your neighbor might find your English better than mine. Alright, so speak to your neighbor. And say to, and say to your neighbor, the spirit of faith is believing in the heart and speaking with the mouth. So if you do not believe in your heart and you speak, it will not work. Wow. This is a coup. They have told me I should not come down. I think they have made it very difficult. Hey, Amen. All right. All right. So I said that the first one I said is that if it is not, if you believe alone and you don't speak, it doesn't happen. Right? But you know what? If you speak also and you don't believe, it will also not happen. So the two must be in place. The reason we are struggling is because we think faith is mental asset. You'll be rich. I accept. I have faith. No, that's mental asset. Mental asset is good for chemistry. Because when they tell you that this is where osmosis is, you've got to believe it. I assent to it. I write it that way. There's no spiritual thing about that. It's your it's, Just learn it and cram it and pour it. They don't need you to improvise. Bible says, and since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. All right? So let me begin to teach. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 as you open your notes. I want to show you something there because I want to ask some quick questions and then I'll be able to just run this off very quickly. Amen. You believe that? A glory. That's faith again. That's faith again. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, look, look at that. Look at that. The Bible says, and since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written. So let's stop there. Scripture says, we have, we have, now don't jump Bible, let me teach, Scripture says we have, Lewa, come, I would have come to you, come with your phone, right, so, whose phone is that? Your phone. Do you have it or you are going to pray for it? So how, how can you prove that you have it? You can show it to me that you have it. So when you say you have, it means you have come into possession. Is that so? How many of you have a billion in your account? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now listen. But when you say, I have, what she carries is what she has. If she then begins to pray for this exact phone, then we say something is wrong. Bible says, we have the same spirit of faith. Follow me. We have. Just like she carries it. We have. What do we have? Oh, so it's not faith that we have. Scripture says we have the same spirit of faith. Is somebody following my... Have I lost you? The same spirit of faith. That word same there is the Greek word autos. Oh, you see automobile. You know automobile. You know automobile. That word auto, that word auto there, actually speak of exact. Same. Exact. Now, if you buy a Land Cruiser 2017 and she buys a Land Cruiser 2017, will it be the same? Because it's auto. Except they do factory fitted and all of those things. But 
Normally, what they produce, how many but somebody has an iPhone 12? You have an iPhone 12. Anybody else has an iPhone 12? You have an iPhone 12. All right, can I have that? Collect mommy's own too. Help me bring it. Bring that for me. Glory to God. So, this phone is exact. You buy it in Lekki, you import your own from China. Exact. Sorry, let me not use China. <laughs> you buy your own in Lekki, you buy, I, I don't know what in the Keja is what? Do you get the word exact? Is the word autos. The same. Scripture says you have in the same spirit of faith. Now, you don't get that. It means that the exact faith that Abraham has is what you have. The exact faith that Bishop Oedeko has is what you carry. The exact faith that George Adeboye has is the same one you have. The same spirit of faith. Exact. Same. You see, when you say you have the spirit of faith and you remove the word exact, then you've lost it. Exact. Somebody say you have faith like PFA to build this. I can do great things for God. You are, baby. You have, sweetheart. The reason we as Africans do not get into the inheritance of God is because we like to deify personalities. We like to have big men of God. But if you read through your New Testament, you will discover that most of the promises of God are for children and sons, not for pastors and apostles. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. The same spirit. If Paul can do it, baby, you can do it. If Elisha can do it, why? Because we have the same. Don't tell me your phone cannot browse when this one can browse. Are you following what I'm saying? I mean, my phone can't do Instagram, but this one can do Instagram. That doesn't make sense. If it's quad court, this will be quad court, right? Exact. So why is it that our experiences are different? Scripture says, I've been. Thank you. Honorium cannot be shared too long. Scripture says, I've been the same spirit of faith. Is that not what the Bible says? And what's that word say? Auto. Exact. Same. Very. It means that Lewa's faith is my faith. Pierre's faith is your faith. Therefore, if somebody says, I believe God for a job in seven figures and he got it, you can get it also. Because the raw material that is needed is the same. Amen. Right. You know what? Many times you have things. Think about it. Think about it. So you have. So you've come to possession. But let me let me shock you. How many of you have bought clothes you've not worn for a while? Raise your hand. Well, I want to know those. I will say they should come to the house. Raise your hand. Well, I'm joking. I'm joking. Raise it. I want to preach together. Praise God. Oh, people are rich. Hey, Amen. How many of you have wristwatches you've not worn? Raise your hand. The one I know I cannot ask and you will not have. Do you have cars you have not used? Because I know if you buy a car, because of the price, you will take it out. Even if it means once, but well, you take it out. The same way we have things. Recently, I remembered I had a wristwatch. And um, can you hear me at the back? Okay. Now, can you hear me at the back? All right, I'm trying not to shout because I I'm shouting. Okay, now can you hear me at the back? Well, yes, good. All right. So, imagine, okay. The journey is far. Amen. I've used myself this week, so I discovered that. So let me. That's why I ask. Thank you so much for being truthful. Amen. Let's just continue. Do you like this? It's a new church. I'll not be shouting on ourselves. Amen. All right, so I discovered I had a car. So I had, not a car, I had a wristwatch. I had not used it for like two years. Someone gave it to me and I didn't use it for like two years. And so I just told myself, you know what? I just saw it. It was my wife that even showed me. She said, this thing is still here. I said, oh. 
So I gave somebody. That's to put it to use. You might be born again for 20 years and you have not used your faith. It doesn't mean you don't have it. Just the way I had that research I never used it. You have that faith. The Bible says, we also have been the same spirit of faith. We believe, therefore have we spoken. We have the same spirit of faith. Dear friends, Paul used his faith. If you are to ask Paul, the writer of this epistle, what is it that kept him from collapsing in the midst of adversity? He will tell you faith. What is it that makes you go forward into the will of God? Faith. People have asked me, they said I'm a risk taker. I don't know about that. I don't even know what definition, biblical definition, sorry. The dictionary definition of risk, I don't know. All I know is that God said it, I believe it, and that's it to say. He had it when they nearly beat him to death. And he will have it even now. Now the spirit of faith has two ingredients. Two ingredients. And I want you to write that down. I think we are not expecting perfection the first day. Were we? And we tried. But it's okay. Number one, I believe and I speak. Two ingredients of faith that get results. Believing and speaking will open the floodgate to the supernatural for you. Believing and speaking will open the floodgate to the supernatural for you. Dear people of God, it is time to unlock the next level. It's time to do more. You must link your speaking with your believing. Many times what we say is different from what we believe. It's time to link your speaking with your believing. And this is the secret of my life. Why building this place? There were times we got to. And you know, it's easy to know when your sons and daughters that are in the house and building, when their faith has gone down. You see it in their face. But they can't have conversation with you like that. They can talk it behind themselves. They can say it behind you. But when you come down, when you say, how is it going? The response is not loud. You hear, I just want this water to go. I just want this water to go. One thing I've learned in that experience, and I will share with you, and I've learned it all my life, is that never you speak because of what you are going through. Your words must be conditioned before you start going through those things. If anything contrary happens to what you think would happen, you are not permitted to speak because of what you are going through. I, we go to seasons where the account went to zero. And before we sleep, it will happen. i share one with you. And that's, I think that's like, like the last one. We had to buy sound. <laughs> and we had used all our money to get the rug. Because we need solid carpet here. You guys are royalty. You can't be stepping on cement. If I say kneel down, you'll be thinking about your linen. But now you are not thinking. You just go down. Can't even sleep there. It's so nice. Don't you think it's nice? Even if you say it's not. Because some of you are not answering me. <laughs> Amen. That's just a joke. But you know one thing that I found out? And, they, and, they, and, and we had a conversation and said, how will the speaker happen? I said, I know before Thursday I will have the money for you. I will have the money for you. And when I was speaking, there was maybe 10,000 in the account left. Because some of these guys have collected its finish. And so, I, and then he, I said, don't worry, by Thursday it will happen. And then, you know, you try to call some people that you think are rich. Those rich people will fail you. You see, when the Lord says he's going to build you a house or he's going to buy you a car, naturally what you do is to fix your eyes on people who you know who are close to you, who are rich, who can afford that car, or who have like four cars, so that they can think about you and love you, you know. So you send them text messages sometimes so that they can still remember you and say, come and carry the car. In fact, they will give you the car to sell and then they will send the money to them. Is somebody following me? Your expectation must be in God. So, 
I said to myself, I, and so some money came. Somebody called and said, I said, now I want to just send some money from abroad. And then he sent the money. And then we changed the dollars. And then the thing rose. But I cannot call the sand guy and say, that's how much. Even the one I call, he will lecture me. So I, I said, God, I want to sleep now. Just send this amount before I wake up. So I woke up 3.30. Because when you do this project, you don't sleep long. Especially when you have church like this, I am praying for them. You can't sleep long. For those of you who have the call of God, I'm just telling you. So I woke up. And then I prayed. Then it was 6.30. I'd be 6 o'clock. And then I saw, I just checked the phone beside me. I saw two alerts. The first one, I opened it. It was 50 naira debit. Then I saw that it was two that I saw, two email. Then I opened the first, and then I opened the second one. And then I saw the exact amount from somebody I have not spoken to in years. And that's not how I do it when I express that. I just jumped. I almost broke her neck, my wife. I almost broke her neck. I just jumped on us. He did it. He did it. He did it. Hallelujah. And then I start singing. That's it. Tebati boni alati wali. You see, when I sing, I sing in gratitude to open door for more. Some of you, you say it is not enough and you keep complaining. That's why you are on that level. The spirit of faith will always give thanks. Also, you are expecting 2 million and you are expecting 200 million and somebody sent 10,000. You say, hey, what will this do now? What will this do now? That's why that is where you will be. Somebody say, my voice is not good. That's my own delivers more than your soprano. My key cannot be found in the Hartley realm. Please don't cut, cut that away. <laughs> Amen. My intention today, therefore, is to help you to use your faith. You've got to use your faith. Tell your neighbor, say, you've got to use your faith. If you buy an, a new iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro Max, sweet that you are going to use that thing immediately. You are going to snap immediately. You are going to get another camera to snap it so that the people can see it. Because it can't snap itself. That's how good you want to use it. You following me? When you buy a new system, you want to use it. Those who do tech guys, tech guys know what I'm talking about. You abandon the hope for the new. It's time to use your faith. Can I equip you without to use your faith and then we are good to go? Number one, how to walk in tandem with the spirit of faith. If you will do these things, you will see that your life has tra is, is, is transformed. Your life is changed. This is not a business seminar. This is a spiritual seminar. You, this is not, a, they say we should try it. I'm not, I don't teach what to try. I have never taught something that has not worked for me. I don't know how to preach theory. I preach practical. I give you evidences. It's for time that I don't want to give you stories. I can go to archives from 14, 15 years and I'll tell you how it works. This is how I've lived all my life. Don't tell me who is my sponsor. God is. Are you following what I'm saying? You see, when somebody walks by faith, people envy them. They think, how, how, how are they making so much money? It's not that they are making money. It's that God is their source. And God being your source is a, is a resource that can never run dry. That's not a song. That's a spiritual reality. Number one, release your faith. We also have in the same spirit of faith. We believe. What do we do? What do we do? There's an action to that. We speak. We act. We do something about it. If your faith is not active, then there's no faith. Listen to this. How you convert believing to faith is acting. Everybody believes. Is Jesus a good person? Everybody believes. But when I confess him as Lord, then I act on it. Okay, how can I make it practical? Because somebody thinks that belief and faith is the same thing. That's what you think, Abby. Okay, let me make it practical. So, come, Tola, you look like somebody won't travel abroad. Come. Does it not look like somebody won't travel abroad? Climb, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, climb. Hello, fam. How are you doing, guy? 
Amen. Amen. Is it in it or the other side? One. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. All right, look at him. Look at him. He receives a revelation that God wants to move him abroad. And he believes it. He believes it with all of his heart. And then he believes it. And then I see him one year after. I say, how far? Baba, where you they go? I see they believe God. I see they trust God. I see they trust God. Now, I see him three years later. I say, Baba, how far? I see they trust God. I see they trust God. Is there anything wrong with his belief? He believes. Belief means to believe. He believes. But if I then ask him, excuse me, sir, do you have an international passport? And the answer is, ah, no, no. You see that? He's not acting on it. God says, okay, I'm going to take you to the U.S. And I ask him, in the last three years, have you applied? And he said, no. That is believing. When you then apply for a visa, then you are acting on what you believe. So you can believe that you have a big company. But if you don't act by starting the company, 10 years from now, you'll still be believing. You see the problem now? You see why that company has not grown? It's still on paper. It's because you have not started it. If we did not come and say, you know what, guys? Let's come here. Let's start out here. Let's talk to the owners of this land. If we don't make that first step, what we have is believing. It's not faith. Faith, there is an heart to faith. God said, you're going to get married this year. Praise God, brother. If you don't ask a woman out, you are not going to marry nothing. <laughs> you ain't going to marry nothing. I believe God for a car. I believe God for a car. Carry money and go and buy. If you cannot buy it, you start confessing it. Say, I received my car. Toyota Corolla 2017. I see it is where it is parked. Glory to God. You call it forth. You see it. That's why we say, I see finished. That's why there was a picture of how this place will look like. And we put that in your face every day. So that you can visualize and see it. And then we continually took step in that direction. Faith is not resignation to God. Faith is working with God to attain what he has said. Do you understand that? Now go back to your vision book. And I'm telling you that's why it has not worked. You know, we talk about devil so much that I begin to wonder whether God is as more powerful than the devil in truth, in Christianity. The way we talk is like, if the devil said the blow very well, he can win Jesus sometimes. That's where we preach it. It's like, yes, Jesus is powerful, but he's just a little powerful than the, the evil in your family. So you look at that part and say, eh, if I buy a car, I cannot even go. Who bought the car? If Jesus got it, Jesus will defend it. If Jesus got the job, Jesus will defend it. But if your body got the job, your body will defend you from the devil. I don't know how he will do that. Do you want to walk in the miraculous? Do you want to lay hands on the sick? then you must step out and release your faith. The first time I went out of our ministry in Ilori, administration in Akure, all through that journey, the devil kept telling me, you lay hands here, you will, you will see that they will be sweating. Their body will fall down. No healing will take place. Nothing will happen. You see, what you had before was a congational anointing. It's not like you're anointed, though. It's the anointing of the house that is working for you. Now that you are on solo, you are on your own, you will see what I'm saying. And so on that journey, as he said it to me, I did not say it out. So I won't tell you or tell my wife. It's a conversation that is inward. It must not be brought outside. I can't agree with it. When something drops on your inside, what you do is that you say it. Because you talk too much. So you keep quiet. And I kept telling him. I said, no, I'm the called of God. Is how Jesus anointed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who did not stay in Elon, but he went everywhere doing good. That scripture was what I was on. 
When I got to the place, I lay hands on the first person he fell. Even those who did not lay hands, they got it that day. Everybody. Why? Because I released my face. Sweetheart, you've got to release your face. The woman with the issue of blood had to release her face. The Roman centurion acted on what she believed. Two blind men acted on what they believed. The friends of the cripple, do you remember that cripple guy? They opened the roof, acted on what they believed. It is not faith until it is acted upon. It's not faith. It's not faith. You can call it something else, but it's not faith. Listen to this. I have not seen a greater expression of faith than acting on what you believe God has told you. The greatest expression of faith is acting on what you believe God has told you. I remember when I was believing God for the first financial miracle. You know, many of you have only lived by your salary. It's a terrible life to only live by your salary. Because that thing is never enough. Inflation comes. You've got to, you've got to eat of vineyard you did not plant. Is somebody following what I'm saying? You've got to stay in houses you did not build. I was talking to a young man recently and I said, what was the last time you can say that favor came for me? He said, everything I have, I work for it. I said, ah, you need to ask for favor. I want things that I did not work for. I don't know about you. There is a way that those things are good. When they just gave you a no money, you didn't ask for the price. But when your account went down, to buy the woman here, there's a way you, you feel. I, do, do you get it? Ladies get it that now. Let me look for what men will now get. Car. I won't say that thing. <laughs> when you have a car and somebody gave you, you did not buy it. How do you think it feels? That your account did not go down to get the car. Wow. Asha. Have you used phone before that you did not buy? Do you see the way it feels? You can relate with that. I'm not saying the one they have used finish and I gave you. I'm talking about new phones. I remember somebody called me and said, I said, I, said, I need a new phone. He said, how much is it? I told him, I don't have that money. I said, okay, sir. The Lord is good. I'm not asking you. And he said, he said, okay, do you have a dollar account? I say, ah, ah. You say, when you walk by faith, you must have every account. I have euro, I have pounds, I have... Don't, don't bother. Don't bother. The only one I don't have is Ghana cities. <laughs> but every other... I remember I went to the bank that day. The person said, you want to open currency? I said, yeah. He said, can I open all the donations for you? I said, why are you asking, sir? Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, you've got to tell people to go ahead. You are asking yourself, you have a dollar account, how will money come? That's how I, it should have been to me that time. But because I had it, it came. You must believe God for the overflow. You must believe God for the miraculous. I had a story of Kenne Copeland, how he was with Ora Robot. And Ora Robot used to do crusade those days. Ora Robot would do crusade and they had a tent, like this tent, that are just for invalid. People who are legs are broken, who have cancer, who have fibroid, very crazy stuff. And so he called Kenneth Copeland. I said, Copeland, brother Copeland, go pray for the invalid. <laughs> he said, he looked at him. He said, I should go. He said, go pray for the invalid. He said, he, and then he followed him. He said, don't worry, when you make a mistake, I'll be behind you. He said, when he entered, he looked at the woman. There was a growth, a malignant. It was growing. He said, he looked at the thing. You've got I said, or a robot said, don't pray until you release your faith. You see, many times we go too fast. Don't pray until you release your faith. Sir. Don't pray for anyone until you release your faith. He said, he went there and said, and then he said, before that time, he was reading on authority in Jesus and said, oh, that's the word that we use. See, in the name of Jesus, that authority that I have, I don't know that. He said, a robot just came there and said, I stand in the name of Jesus. The one whom I serve, the one whom I am the God. Get out, you malignant spirit. He said, and the vibrant came out from the mouth. The person vomited everything. He caused it with his mouth. And the thing came out from the mouth. 
you know, there's a way I'll tell you to go and do deliverance of somebody. Some of these people know. They will go there and first of all be singing for 10 minutes. Kilo Shelly. What's going on here? Helemo Shambare Oga, tell that thing to go immediately. There is no, I'm welling up. I'm welling up to be spiritual. I want to feel God now. You cannot feel God. It's not the feeling of God that sends these things out. It is the authority we stand upon. Whether I feel God, I don't feel God. If I say it, it's going to do it. The man came and just spoke the word and stood on the authority. And the man, the, the, the growth disappeared. It vomited it. Such a messy thing, but such a lovely thing. Such a lovely thing. Listen, until you can speak. It was Mithukusa that said that until you learn to treat the devil like a dog, you won't get your deliverance. You won't get your deliverance. Some of us are too nice. You know, because we are in Lagos and on the highland, we think that there are special demons for this place. Demons are the same. They are the same. No choreography about it. I hope you know that there are certain demons that don't listen to these sandalic tongues that you people do. And she meant here, Ville Tobai, Sombre, Sombre, Hahita. You are even doing phonetics, linguistic in tongues. Listen, there are all civilized demons. When they get close to you and you discover you have sent out CVs for months and nobody's calling you back, you are still doing Hilitia, Militia, VV, Afruno, Simpa, Kia, VV. Elush, Elush, Elush. Dimbroshi Elish. When you are tired, when you see that it's only one month for your husband to expire, and you don't have a job, you will quit doing phonetics. You will start praying in the spirit. That one you won't care. You are asking yourself, I need the job now. Are you following what I'm saying? There needs to be a release of our faith. If this can happen, your life can also change. I'm trying to teach you this morning that the same spirit of faith that got this building working can get your life working. The same spirit of faith that got this working can get your life working. If it is not working, it's because you have not released your faith. Somebody say, I'm tired of the level I am on. You've got to do more. Caleb looked at him, Joshua, and said, Joshua, the inheritance you gave me is too small. That lot is not enough. It's not enough. Give me more. Give me more. He released his faith via his words. Somebody being blessed, let me run here. When you release your faith, miracles will break out. If you act in faith. Number two, justified by words. You are only declared righteous by your words. The generals of old were declared righteous by their words. Matthew 12, 36 to 37. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, by your words you will be condemned. That's the reason many people are condemned to poverty. By their words. Because why are you applying? When you say there's no job, why are you then applying? You see what we say? Somebody say, why are you doing that job? There's no job anywhere. There's no job. Why are you applying? You have already condemned yourself by your words. Oh, you know this season, especially when it's this, it ought, I am normally sick. That's why you are sick. Oh, you know, as a woman, the season of the woman has come to me, cramps and all of that. Or God, before you came, you have caught the cramps in. So better buy set of Panadol extra because you will need a lot of it. Why? Because it will be to you according to your words. You believe you are going to have cramps. Baby, you are going to have cramps. In fact, you won't go to work. Because you say it. We become what we say. You remember Numbers 13? The people came and said, we are not able to go and take that land. He said, because we look like grass or pass before them. I get irritated every time I read that scripture. I mean, if you say you look like goats before them, it was okay. Why would you say you look like grasshopper? And then the next thing, I now read my Bible again and again. You know what I was looking for? The conversation. When did they ask the people to tell them how they look before them? Did they ever ask those people? No. They just came to it and said, 
we look like grasshoppers before them because we saw their hearts. Many of you get employed in a place and you believe you can never become the manager. You can never become the MD. Why? Because you think that those people are more brilliant than you. You are not dull. It is your belief. Unfortunately, you cannot go further than your belief. David won. Say, I'll kill this guy. I told you last Sunday. I'll kill this guy. Did he kill him? Definitely. You can't be a giant slayer when you keep speaking defeats. Being a conqueror isn't by accident. It's incidental. Justification comes through words. Defilement also comes through words. You can ruin your business by your words. Ah, ah, you see, it's economy. Nobody is coming to buy things again. No? Do you know that in this economy, people are still buying houses? And they are not politicians. I, I need to say that they are not politicians. I need to say that. It is easy to tell those who will make it in life. Now, I want you to think about it. Do you know that there is nobody who has become successful financially, become great in this world, that speaks defeat? Think about it. Nobody. Even the people you grew up together, the ones who made it amongst them, they didn't speak defeat. If you don't speak I, it won't happen. I have a good job. It should be your normal conversation. I am blessed. I am highly favored. If they won't take everybody, they will take me. They can't sack me, I can resign. You see, these are conversations that must come out from your mouth. When you say, how will I get another certification? How will I get back to school? Because you don't believe you can. I recently saw a man who after retirement went to law school and finished. And you, you are not married. You are not tired. You still cannot do law again. If law is your destiny, you better go and do it again. Whatever you have to do, better start it. Don't stop God's processes and plan true unbelief. Let me give you two more. Great faith is a result of great conviction and desperation. Let me say this to you. I found out that if you are desperate, it will happen. Life is about conviction. Life is about conviction. Now many times when you hear someone like this, your faith is very increased. But except it builds conviction in you, you go back to your normal level. That is why you started that business and because you did not make money in six months, you have saying, you know what, well, let's diversify. You know the way we talk big English with nothing? Some of you call yourself CEO. Please don't be an illiterate again. CEO means chief executive officers, which means that for you to be a CEO, you must have executive officers. That means you are the head of all the executive officers. You are the only one in your company, you are CEO. You see why we are where we are? People become very... I, I know a company, there are just three. And three of them, one is CEO, CEO, CFO. So when they say CEO should stand up, you are standing. You are just trying to start your business. Call yourself what you are at that moment. We need to have staying power. Because these days I see many young people trying to start businesses. I need to teach this to you. You've got to have staying power. I did not have a choice to run to. Whether money comes or not, I was leaving that place and I was leaving. And I was leaving and I was leaving. There was only one way. Is it that I die or it comes true? Let me say this to you. If your conviction and desperation is high enough, you will make it. You are not even desperate. I don't, I'm not sure you people understand what poverty is. You think poverty plays with people? You think poverty jokes with you? When poverty follows your lineage, before you people can break it, I say you people, because it means generationally, it doesn't follow one person. If you're poor, your school, the school your children will go to, they'll be following poor people, they will grow up poor mindset, the teachers will be poor teachers, they will be angry people. That's how it will look like. And I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm telling you reality. Poverty is a cause. 
You've got to be angry and break it. And work hard and break it. Cancel your Netflix subscription. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with Amazon Prime? At this poverty age. No, sir. I'm not trying to abuse you. I'm saying there are better things you can use that two five for every month. Even if you are not paying, because Nigerians shared password has killed almost everybody. <laughs> the time and the data you use can be better used on something else. What's your conviction level? I'm going to real estate. I'm going to real estate. After two months, you have gone to something else. You don't have conviction. You started several companies since I've known you. And I've known you for three years. What are you doing? What do you do? You know, I'm, I'm an hustler. There's nothing like an hustler. Hustlers don't get rich. Bill Gates can never call himself an hustler. Stay on one thing. This one thing I do, Paul said. That's how to change life. Listen to this. If when we were starting to build this place, we thought, ah, chairman, maybe before we get this done, maybe we can also try and find a hall. By the way, side. You know we'll be in that hall today, not here. Because we had an alternative. The reason you left that guy was, and you didn't say yes to him, is because somebody is close to you who you like, but that guy will never t ask you out. I'm telling you by the spirit now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. You've got to understand. Understand this truth. If you have a picture, have, have a picture in your house, Instead of using that lady that you has not said yes on your wallpaper, put the picture of your company there and keep sticking to it every day. Design logo. Pay for people. Don't even pay. Go to Canva. Everybody's a designer now. But you've got to believe. Speak. Every morning, you speak about Ronaldo. Every morning, you speak about Tinubu. You better leave that guy alone. Leave that guy alone. It's not your president, Mugba. I'm not giving. He's the president. Leave him. Leave him. Not only God now. Where are you there? Not only God. I tell you. Not only God. But you see what you can do is to change your own life. Someone say, our pastors are not preaching with you because you say, I can kill my church members. They can kill my church members. I tell you to go and protest so that I kill you. I can't do that. I'm a good father. These people are not nice. Power is crazy. When people get there, they don't want to leave. Going with 50 cars. You, you are working. Imagine if 50 cars and you want to leave that thing. You don't want to. You will die there. That's uh, why they are not born again. No spirit to control them. What power are you done? I'm telling you what. I, it, it pains me because I bleed. But you know what you can do? You can talk to God about your own life. Daniel prospers a slave in a strange land. You are not a slave here. You are still a citizen. Is somebody following what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be a political. You know, I've told you. I'm not, in poly I'm not, I'm not The last one I've ever declared is the last one I declared that I am supporting. Now we are a community church, you know. So I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't have party again now. Nothing. I just pray for the good of Nigeria and I speak good leadership skills. What I teach you will make you vote better. But if you come to my room and I ask you in my room, I won't be recorded. You put your phone outside. Who do you vote for? And you say, Mom, I will slap you there. <laughs> but I won't tell you what to say anymore. Public announcement. I've said it. My wife wants me to say I've said it to everybody. I'm not saying it again. I'm not doing politics again. But listen, change your life. That company you started can work. Everybody's not doing drugs. Some people are legit building their company. Don't try to be famous on social media. Build something now. Build it. Tell your neighbor, build. You put fly on your GP. One week, two weeks, nobody contacted you. Say, I'm tired. You see, this is not working. Oh. You better borrow money and do sponsor post. That you even do if it doesn't come. People are shy. The day they need that service, they will say, I've seen it somewhere. One more. And so we are done. Do you know there was a woman that God didn't want to heal in scriptures? Jesus said, I'm not going to heal you. You've not read that before. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. And Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. 
And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy, O Lord. My daughter is severely demon possessed. But he answered her, not a word. Disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. But she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the Lordship of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped. She came again. The Bible says she came. That means they have sent her. She came and worshipped and said, even dogs eat at their master's table. Give me crumbs. Give me crumbs. Do you think that if she was not desperate, she would not say, did I not tell you about these pastors? You go and shame me and be complaining. He's so arrogant. He's so arrogant. I was talking to him. He was comparing me with a dog. But that's what Jesus did. If I say that, you will abuse me. But that's what Jesus did. Jesus did that. Jesus did that. But the Bible says, the woman stayed. And scripture says, God said, I have not seen such great faith. Great faith is a result of great conviction. Do you have conviction? Don't just say it. Do you have conviction? I am an intercessor. I am rich. I am blessed. I can never be. You see, when I say I can never be surrounded in life, I mean it too. It's a result of conviction. And never be stranded in life. Never. Never. I've been saying these things like that since I was in 300 level. Class rep, I went in front of the class one day. I told them. I said, if you had that only one person pass a course, please, there's no need to check your result. I am the one. They all laughed. <laughs> I looked at them. I said, you don't understand. They like <laughs> this guy. Shot. I said, by the way, that lecture says it's not coming. You can go. But I have told them I will not fail a course in this school. You've got to say some things. You are tired of that job. See, we have been crying since. Has it changed anything? You have been complaining since. Has it changed everything? It's change what you say. But you can't change what you say except there is deep conviction. Do you believe that God can change your story? Do you believe that you can be great? Um, a time is coming in this church, and I say this prophetically, that when we are starting churches, one person will be starting churches. Financially, one person. A time is coming in this church that one person will buy all the ACs. One person. Not many. Will not. Pastor, don't be embarrassing us with this kind of announcement. That time is coming. That time is, I have that conviction. If you don't have it, that means it's not you. Go we send those people in. Don't let him send them. That looked at me and said, why are you saying that? I, you, you have to believe it. Ah. People say pastors collect money. Is it devil that will send us money to build this church? When he came and said, God said we should all give. I didn't say God said we should all give our June salary. We fasted all through in my house, July. Fasted all through. You can't ask me. You can't say it. It may be impact. You cannot say it. Where do you want me to get the money from? Me too. I have given it all. Sorry, we didn't. Oh, they are still fasting till now. <laughs> because you can see the food. And we can't die. The kingdom suffering violence. This must be done. Are you following what I'm saying? Look at your life and say, this must be done. Is there something that you believe should be done? Is there? A young man was getting married and he said to me, he said, Pastor, all my children will be delivered in the U.S. I said, are you moving abroad? He said, no. He said, but that's why it's going to happen. That is how it's going to happen. They have to have blue passports. That is how it's going to happen. Two children now. US, they go and come back. Go and come back. No relocation, anything. Living fly life here. Yeah. I hope you know there are people who live better here than abroad. What do you believe? Finally, before, because of time. The spirit of faith speaks faith words. And it's very simple. The spirit of faith speaks faith words. Let me read a scripture to you, Matthew 21, 19 to 22. And seeing a fig tree by the road, he came to it and found nothing on it but leaves and said to it, Let no fruit grow on you forever again. Immediately the fig tree withered away. 
And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree wither away so soon? So Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you not only do what was done to this fig tree, but if you also say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Jesus showed us via that experience that by our words, we can introduce death to thriving things. Do you get what I just said? Oh, you want me to say it again? It's very key. You have to get it. Jesus looked at a fig tree. The Bible says he had leaves. But there was no fruit. Now, it was not the time of figs, so it was not the figs' fault. But figs are not supposed to have leaves if they all have fruit. So he deceived the creator. So the creator got there and saw that there's no fig. You know he didn't cause it. He said, we are dying now. He didn't do that. He said, no man. I thought that by saying that, it just means that you can be fruitful and then the fruit will be coming down and nobody will eat it. You know what Jesus did? A thriving tree, he introduced death to it by his words. There are certain areas of our life that are thriving. But by our words, we can introduce death to it. That's why I tell people, say you look beautiful. I say you are beautiful. You are saying, no sir, no sir, no sir, I'm common. Oh, come on. Okay. No guy wants to marry come on. Guys, you want to marry come on? Raise your hand. I'm beautiful. That business, you sold three things in one month. And you're complaining. That complaint will introduce death into that business. Many times, businesses don't die because of lack of customers. Spiritually, they die force before physical because we introduce words to it what will you say about your business now they say i cannot come down at least i can sit down <laughs> i can't sit down too that's very serious hallelujah i will see this one because I, I'm, I'm done but you have to do something amen what did i say i said you can introduce what Via what? It also means you can introduce life via your words. That business is struggling. You can kill it. Jesus said there were no fruits. But at least leaves had come. What you are seeing are leaves. But you are complaining. It's soon going to die. And I love it when things die. Sorry. When things die, I hate it. You know when it dies, it means... They can't believe. There can't be anything anymore. It's gone. Will you do something today? Will you introduce life to your words and to the things which you do? What is it that you do? What is the work of your hands? Somebody say, I'm just learning how to program. We, we don't know anything, no. That's why you don't know anything. Somebody have already started declaring. Some people are waiting for me. You know, you don't only declare alone. Some of us need to delete the things we have said. Don't joke with what you have said before. Jesus said, no man eat of you anymore. And Bible says you are ears of Christ and joint ears with God. It means that <laughs> you are ears of God and joint ears with Christ. It means that Whatever capacity Jesus operated or not, you can operate in that capacity. So look at the things you have said. A ministry is not for me. And you know that God called you. You know. You are saying you are joking. Now when you start that ministry, you will not struggle. Because angels don't know joke. They only follow words. Somebody said that business tries. There is some prayer pray I pray every morning. Nothing dies in my hand. Nothing dies in my hand. Nothing dies in my hand. You have to look at your hand like that. I said, nothing dies in my hand. Nothing dies in my hand. Nothing dies in my hand. Our mothers have a way of praying that prayer. What they mean is that their children will not die. Nothing dies in my hand. But listen, 
The works of your hands are blessed. That company you are working is the work of your hands. Nothing dies in your hands. Somebody pray this morning. You have two more minutes. Somebody pray this morning. Nothing dies in my hands. Introduce life to that company. Somebody say, sir, it's not a company. I just have a name. Say something about it. Say something about it. That is how we grew it. That is how we did it. We kept speaking. I have never known a time that I don't have faith confessions. I've never known a time that I'm not speaking faith words. Somebody say, I'm getting old. How will I get married? My husband is coming. Never say that, oh, but why not call him my marry? When you want to marry. No, don't accept that. Nothing dies in my heart. I, I, I'm going forward. I try. I try. Client comes to me. I just, I perceive. I pray this morning and I said to God, I said, when they declare these things, daddy, let it come to pass. As proof, as evidence that these words are not just words, they are realities we are teaching. There are practical spiritual realities. Lord, Lord, I try. I, I've never joked about my ministry. I've never denied it. Even when I was not in ministry, I knew I was going to do it. Some of you have said, no, uh, not also. I don't know. And you know, some of us here, we know that that business, you are the problem. It's not what you do, it's the blessing of the Lord. It, it can be small, but greatness can come. Oh, you are in the house of revival. You are in the house of renewal. Refuse to live just by this economy. No. If, if only one person, they will do business with in Lagos this week. It is me. It is me. It is me. If it is me, it is me. Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. I am not poor. I'm not stranded. I'm not poor. I am rich. That thing you have been trying to sell, command it sold. Say it is sold. It is sold. It is sold. It is sold. That car is sold. It's sold. Wanted to sell something. I said, well, just say, it's sold. It's sold. People were everywhere. They wanted to buy. It is sold. That land is sold. Why should something stay four months in your, in your place? Why? Your skill is sold. Your soft skill is sold. Demands are coming from the U.S. Demands are coming from the U.S. Demands are coming from abroad. Take these words as prophetic words. It's your season of lifting. It's your season of increase. Under no me near parua, e kakapo siala. Open your mouth. I want to hear those words. You have two more minutes. I want to hear those words. I don't know why believers are very humble when it comes to place of prayer. Don't don't think about the person beside you. Say it loud. Say it loud. When witches are cursing, they curse loudly. Declare it. That building is sold. That car is sold. Declare it. We have been the same breath of faith. I speak it every morning. Loud. The duty is in supply. The tent is supplied. The rug is supplied. The equipment are supplied. Call it forth. We don't walk by what we see. We don't walk by what we see. We are faith people. We are faith people. Call forth what you want. Rise up, everybody. Let me say this to you. If you don't say it, you will not see it. That you that it doesn't look possible, it's okay. He called the things that be not as though they were. There was no land. I went to CLC, rivers and well. I prayed. Many of you have seen that picture. You saw me in front. I was the only one in front of that altar. 
I was saying that by the next rivers and well, Jesus' place will be completed. They did the rivers and well yesterday. It's finishing today. Is it not so? There are pictures. I, I, I went to, I went to a person and said, brother, I called him uncle, uncle, can I go to the front? There's such, a, 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 there's such grace. Who's he now? He said, sir, do as you wish, sir. I said, thank you. When I was, you, you have seen the pictures. I was lying in front like this. I was saying to God, at that time, it was August. We had not even found the owner of this land. So what are you telling me is not possible? I know. It's not news to me. I have not found the owner. I don't even know how much he has. Not talk of money. And when we found the owner, we gave him a ridiculous, I told him, how much will you pay per year? I said, tell him one million naira per lease per year. The man laughed, he almost died. He said, he's lucky. I know he was lucky. If it is not favor, it is not God. If it is not favor, it's not God. You are not desperate, you are not hungry. If it is not favor, it's not God. I will not tell you how much we agreed on. I told an apostle in this, in this Nigeria, he said, man of God, go possible. Money, yes. We live in endless impossibilities. Yes. We live in endless possibilities. Yes. What we pay for five years is what some people pay. Don't let me say it. Forget it. See, see, see. Tell your neighbor, calm down. Calm down. The God of the ransom is a true God. This church yes, will be full. Yeah. This place will not contain us. Yeah. I will do three services. Yeah. You people, if you are not going to be rich, if you are not going to break limits, God will send other people. I will turn you to protocols. Yeah. Are you following me? Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. I, you've got to understand this. The resources we work with is not what is in our account. Yeah. That's why I need to preach it again. Yeah. It's not what is in our account. It is what God has said. If God has said it, the building block is supplied. The cement is supplied. Your life can work because God has said it. Somebody say, I am slow. I know somebody, sir. Got married, 15 years, no child. And somebody got married at 37. And they say it will be difficult to give birth. She has two children now. Two. One male, one female. The people who are waiting are still waiting. Oh, God. Oh God, when God comes to your story, it is called grace. It means God in your race. That's grace. God in your race. Listen, what you are afraid to talk about? Some of you are managing like four, four houses. It's not enough. For this is what we want to do here. It's not enough. We need like 40 houses, 50 yeah. houses. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Some of you, you are, you are sitting in a company where they are paying you some rubbish money. I look at you, I'm just helping you. I said, God, tell her, open her eyes. She needs to leave that place. She needs to leave that place. Some of you, they will bring deals to you. Don't ever say, I don't know how to do it. Do it. You know, Motiman, sir? Sir, we're looking for somebody to sell house. Say, I sell house. If they say, I'm looking for somebody to sell land, say, I sell land. I'm looking for a politician to hold the role. Say, I can nominate somebody. If you don't know what to do, come and meet me. There's nobody I don't know. I know people in this church who sell cars, who sell houses. They don't burn them when they swap our face. It's not possible. Because they know that the God of heaven, <laughs> my God that I serve, they will know people who sell land, sell up. Are you following what I'm saying? Opportunities come away and we miss out on it because we can't do it. Can you do it? I can. Can you do it? I can. You have two more minutes. It's our, normally people think it's 12, I will close this service. But I'm not closing by 12. But what I prayed for and sought this night is that your story changed. <laughs> I saw this night is that your story changed. How will it happen? Your words. Now, listen to this. You will work in the world of visualization. And what he saw was his reality. I don't know what you see. 30 more seconds. Close your eyes. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? All right. What you see? Begin to call it forth. Begin to call it forth. Loud. Loud. No shame. No shame. No shame. No shame. Call it forth.
30 more seconds. You better speak. No uncle is coming to save you now. I've said it before. No brother is coming to save you now. But if Jesus said they are coming, they are coming. Are you speaking? God said, tell them this week. They should say this week. What they want to see this week. So that they can, they, it will be a footprint. They will know that I'm the one. What do you want to see this week? Call it first. Alone we The God of this commission. The God of this mandate. As you say it, is doing it. The one before whom I bow. The one before whom I stand. As you say it, it is done. Melika, Belise, Abrodile, Apute, Kapos, Jesus. Lift up your hands and just thank him.